This is Kenny from Learn Nature Secret, and today I'm going to take you on a little snorkeling adventure I had in Bali recently. So here I'm just preparing my mask, but you can see I dropped the camera and it fell into the sand, and I just left it because I think that's cool. Kind of reminds me of like a 1970s David Lynch movie. Make sure to stick around so you can see the octopus I saw at the very end. So here we are, let's jump into the water and get the camera angle, kind of like an X-Wing fighter. I'm just cruising through and I come upon a my first find is a chocolate chip sea star which I think is cool because they just lay around they're pretty common and they're called chocolate chip sea stars because they look like they have chocolate chip cookie dough on top of them next up what are we gonna see ah this is kinda cool I see these quite often I didn't really know what they are but I think they're called a medusa worm or a type of sea cucumber medusa sea cucumber if you know for sure, please make a comment below and let me know what it is. They look kind of creepy, but at the same time kind of cool. Just looking around through the grass some more. I'm not too far offshore. I think you'll see soon I'll surface. And um, I'm only maybe a couple hundred meters from the beach, from the sandy shore, which is quite nice. I love that beautiful view when you can see sort of the water and the beach at the same time. Here we go, I think that's a sand perch. They're pretty common. And whoa, there is a cool critter. I think it's a uh, sea urchin and a type of sea urchin called a hat pin urchin. Once again, if you know, comment below and let me know. So let's get back to X-Wing fighter mode, cruising through the seagrass, looking for cool stuff. And there we go, there is another type of sea urchin. I do believe this one is called a globe urchin, but once again, if you know what species, please comment below and help me identify these cool marine critters. So we'll just keep going back to X-Wing fighter mode, cruising through the galaxy of seagrass, and what are we going to see next? Um, let's see uh, another view of the beach. I like to check where I am once in a while to make sure I haven't drifted too far out. Ooh. These are cool. These are just common sea urchins is what I call them. Um, in Bali, they're called Bolu Bobby, which means furry pig. And definitely don't want to step on them. They can be very uh, painful if you step on one of them. But the cool thing about these is they're actually standing on their head and that beautiful orange and blue that you're seeing is their anus. So that's kind of a cool fact to keep in mind. I love those sea urchins. They're very beautiful and pretty easy to find. Next up, oh, an anemone. And if you have friends like these, who needs an anemones, right? Um, didn't see any clownfish or anemone fish today, but I have seen them here before. And looks maybe like a little piece of coral. But I circled back around just so I could get a view of this anemone. And pretty big colony. Um, the cool thing about anemones is they can sting and and normally the clownfish or anemone fish will have an immune to their host anemone. It's a really cool mutualistic relationship that these clownfish aka anemone fish has with their anemones. Yeah so like I said they have a really cool mutualistic symbiotic relationship. The sea anemone will protect the anemone fish from predators and it'll give it a few scraps here and there from the anemone's meal and occasionally a dead anemone tentacles will fall off and they can eat that. The fish in return for that protection it defends the anemone from predators and parasites so it's a cool little relationship. Like I said today I didn't see a clownfish and I'll say it once again with friends like those who needs anemones. Alright, what else are we going to see? Just a little patch of anemone. There's another uh, sand perch scooting about. I like how they always kind of sit curled up on the seabed and they're really camouflaged. They blend right in. Ah, here we go. Another little colony of anemones with a blue bobby or a sea urchin attached. So that's kind of cool. It's just kind of hanging out there. No specific relationship that I know of. Except maybe the sea urchin might chomp down on some of those tentacles once in a while. 
there's the X-Wing fighter mode again, cruising through the galaxy of seagrass. What's next? Oh, another cool little uh, sea urchin, different species. Like I said earlier, I think it's called the hat pin sea urchin. But if you know for sure, please comment below and give me some Latin names, scientific names, or common names. All right, there's a little fish darting by. At some point, I think I did see a little trigger fish, but it escaped the camera. Another chocolate chip sea star. Like uh, all sea stars, you know, some people call them starfish, but they're not fish at all. And they don't have a brain, and they actually have blue blood, which is kind of a cool fact. More Bolu Bobby, hairy pigs. Like I said, they're everywhere. And they're really beautiful. Check out their beautiful bright red anus. Another sand perch. I do love the seagrass, and I think one of my next goals is to learn the various species of seagrass because they're very different. And if you start looking closely, there's quite a bit of diversity. And I just don't know these species. Having grown up studying freshwater ecology, I'm not really a marine type ecology guy. But it's just another fun, really cool ecosystem to explore. And if you just have a mask and snorkel, this is right off the beach. So it doesn't cost anything. This was about a 30 minute snorkel and I saw all kinds of cool stuff. I think we might be coming up to the crowning jewel, which soon, there it is, the octopus. And it was beautiful. I was so excited. I haven't really seen too many octopus or octopi as we might want to say. There was actually two of them. Um, don't know if it was a breeding pair, but I did follow them for a while and they were pretty cool. At one point, it uh, tried to fool me by turning into a rock, but I was smarter than the octopus and I just stared at it long enough until it swam off again such a cool thing to see especially so close to shore and most people take these seagrass beds for granted they don't really get out there and explore and snorkel around but if you start looking and you look closely and you're patient there's some really cool stuff all right just enjoy that octopus swimming around beautiful lots of uh, dead coral unfortunately it's been bleached out washed up broken off but still plenty of cool marine creatures to be seen. And there we are back at the beach. I'm finished up and I hope you will subscribe and like this channel. Thanks for joining me.